Hey everybody, this is Larry the Cable Guy and I play Mater in the awesome movie Cars. And it is the 15th anniversary, so I'm gonna take you through some of my favorite moments from that movie. It's gonna be fun. And like Mater says, I don't need to know where I'm going, I just need to know where I've been. All right, let's get to it. There ain't no need to watch where I'm going. Just need to know where I've been. All right, this is the first time that Mater meets McQueen. And he comes up to him and he says, My name's Mater, like Tom Mater without the tuh. My name's Mater. Mater? Yeah, like Tom Mater, but without the tuh. Ugh, oh, man, it was so awesome. It just shows you how nice Mater is, how sweet he is, and, and kind of how clueless he is sometimes. But this is my favorite clip. This is the first time I ever saw Mater fully on screen at the premiere with my family. And, uh, I shed a tear. You don't know my name? No, no, I know your name. Is your name Mater too? What? You know, another cool moment in the movie, which shows Mater's heart, is when uh, Lightning gets asphalt all over his lucky sticker when he's redoing the road. So Mater, the friend that he is, offers to clean it by spitting all over it. Wow, well, man. Oh man, that's just great. Hey, what's wrong? My lucky sticker's all dirty. Ah, that ain't nothing. I'll clean it for you. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> that won't be necessary. Hey, but by the way, this is exactly how I personally clean my car. So see, Mater and I, we're the same. <laughs> Boy, I tell you what, there ain't nothing better than a spit shine car. Hey, I know something we can do tonight because I'm in charge of watching you. One of my all-time favorite scenes in the movie is when Lightning and Mater go tractor tipping, and we treat the tractors like cows. Oh, my gosh. First time I ever saw that, I was howling. And when I go out and I do things and, like, visit kids and stuff, the first thing they want to hear is Mater go, Watch out! There's Frank! Laughs all the way around. I, this is one of my all-time favorite scenes in any movie. <laughs> That's Frank. I love the scene where Mater starts taunting Lightning and Sally because everybody can see, even in the theaters, you can see that they like each other, but they're scared to say anything. But Mater, people think he's dumb. He's not dumb. Mater can see it. That's how these two get together, because Mater encourages it with all this teasing. Hey, look, there's Miss Sally. What, where? <laughs> You're in love with Miss Sally. Come on, look. You're in love with Miss Sally. Okay, that's real You're mature, man. A Miss real grown Sally. up. You love her. You love her. Wait, you love her. You love her. You love her. All right. You love her. Okay, you love her. Mater, Mater, enough. <laughs> uh, when you talk about great scenes in the movie Cars, Mater driving backward. I mean, how can you leave that out? I'm the world's best backward driver. I mean, in my own personal life. When people saw that movie, they came up to me and they always go, can you really drive backwards? And I go, no, I can't. But Mater was the world's best backward driver. And this is why this is one of my all time favorite scenes. Will you stop that? Stop what? That driving backwards stuff, it's creeping me out. You're gonna wreck or something. Wreck? Shoot. I'm the world's best backwards driver. You just watch this right here, lover boy. Just need to know where I've been.
One of Mater's all-time favorite lines was when Lightning was trying to convince everybody in town that Doc was this famous race car driver. And so when he came in, he said he'd won three Piston Cups. And of course, Mater doesn't know what the Piston Cup is. And he does the iconic line, a line that is sent to me with messages from all over when they talk about the movie. This is probably one of the most requested funny lines when Mater goes, he won three Piston Cups. <laughs> he did what in his cup? Unbelievable. I, could, I can't believe the reaction that got, but they love that line. Black wall tires, they blend into the pavement. But these white wall tires, they say, look at me. Here I am. Love me. I love the scene where Luigi gives lightning his tires, and he's so excited. Well, that's played by Tony Shalhoub. And Tony Shalhoub, not only is a super nice guy, but nobody could have played that part better than Tony. I mean, so funny. And I love this clip, so I hope you enjoyed as well. And Tony, no, he didn't even give me $100 to say that. You believe that? Didn't, didn't even give me 100 bucks to do it. A little bit more. Perfetto. Guido. Stop. Cool thing about the movie Cars is it's a whole world of stuff. They got all kinds of things, talking and flying around. They got the helicopter. And that's Mater's favorite thing because Mater always wanted to ride more than them fancy helicopters. Well, Mater got to do it at the end. It's an iconic clip. And out of all the things I get requested by people to do, one of them is to say that phrase, I'm in one of these fancy helicopters. They love it. Here's the clip, one of my favorites as well. Still, you know, if there's ever anything I can do for you, just let me know. I sure appreciate that. Thank you. Actually, there is one thing. Another one of my favorite clips is when Doc races Lightning. Now, Lightning thinks he is like this great racer and he's always bragging. But I got to tell you, experience is always better than no experience. And so McQueen takes off and Doc just kind of sits there because he knows the guy's going to wreck. And I just love the part where McQueen, <laughs> he gets it. And Doc just kind of sits there, ho de ho 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 and taking his time and then he just starts off and sure enough Doc wins because Doc is experienced he is the true champion hey look grandpa I'm not a bulldozer I'm a race car oh is that right then why don't we just have a little race me and you I don't mean to be rude here Doc but you probably go zero to 60 in like what 3.5 years well then I reckon you ain't got nothing to worry about you know what old timer that's a wonderful idea Let's race. Gentlemen, start your engines. Híjole, check that out. Great idea, Doc. Now the road will never get done. Drive like you fix roads. Lousy. Have fun fishing, Mater. <laughs> oh! Duh! I'm starting to think he knew you was gonna cry. Thank you, Mater. Thank you. I like the scene where Mater starts kachowing. And what I mean by that is Lightning and Mater taught each other different things. Mater taught Lightning how to drive backwards, and Lightning taught Mater how to show off, how to go in style. And uh, I love it when Mater starts driving and going, ka-chow, ka-chow. There's different, ka -chow. was it more ka-chow, 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 ka-chow. You can say it all kinds of ways, but watch how Mater does it. Ka-chow. Oh. Kid's just trying to be a hero, huh? But what do you think of this? <laughs> yeah, that's it, kid. What? Get it 
in that. Good job. Well, that's it, everybody. Thanks so much for celebrating 15 years. Holy smokes. 15 years since that first Cars movie. Unbelievable. The crazy thing is, I look better and better. Holy mackerel. As Maynard would say, this makes me happier than a tornado in a trailer park. Woo! I uh, see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Hello, everybody. My name's Cristal Alonso. You might recognize me, or at least my voice, as Cruz Ramirez from Disney Pixar Cars 3. Today, I've decided to take you on a little cruise. Get it? Cruise? Like, that's, that's my character's name. And I've decided to talk about some of my favorite parts from the movie and tell you why they mean so much to me. So buckle up, because guess what? You and I, we're going on a fun ride. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the really obvious one, the first time you meet Cruz. She's awesome. First of all, you get to see her on the simulator. You get to see her train the next generation racers. You already know she's super positive, super awesome, and super smart. And though she's not a real racer yet, you can already tell that Lightning McQueen knows that she has what it's going to take. Oh, yeah, I see. I can use that energy for motivation, right? It's all about motivation, Mr. McQueen. You can use anything negative as fuel to push through to the positive. So there's a moment early on in the movie where Cruz takes off Lightning McQueen's tires and makes him name them, which he finds totally weird and is kind of annoyed by it. But Cruz is trying to make him become one with himself one with his tires, a method that he's totally not into, but she forces him to name the tires. I mean, he has to. Cruz named hers. Name them. <laughs> I won't be doing that. Mine are named Maria, Juanita, Ronaldo, and Debbie Richardson. What? Long story. May I have my tires back so I can go on the simulator, please? Name them. Uh, lefty, righty, backy, backy junior, okay? Does this make you mad? Yes, it does. Use that and- So I think it's so funny that Cruz tries to make Lightning McQueen do aerobics, car aerobics, which actually makes a lot of sense because cars go fast. And what is that? In exercising, that's called cardio. Get it? Like, cardio. <laughs> I love that one. And. Even though Cruz and Lightning McQueen come from like two different worlds, guess what? Look, he might not get it, but he kind of has to do it. He might not understand the principles of reach for your lunch, but because she's the trainer, he's got to find a way to figure it out. And reach for your lunch. Okay, when, reach when do I... for your lunch. Now we shouldn't to we... the front. What is there? I don't think it's this your is. Lunch. One scene I really like is the fireball beach scene, because up to now we see that Cruz is really great in her element, which is high tech surroundings, controlled environment, inside racing. Then Lightning McQueen takes her to the beach where she kind of has to deal with something she's never dealt with, racing on sand. This is really hard and very new for her. I mean, even though she tries really hard, we see that at one point she actually gets eaten by the sand. She doesn't know how to drive on it. But once she gets the hang of it, she realizes that driving on sand will make her a better racer. Finally, you made it! Congratulations! Okay, seriously, the race at Thunder Hollow is always one of my favorite go-tos because it's just wild. It's everything. Gloves off, messy, dirty, anything goes. This is the first time that Cruz is really out of her element, not knowing what to expect, but neither does anyone else. Despite all of that, she still ends up winning gold, which to me is so exciting because this is the first time that Cruz wins something. You can tell by her reaction, she's so excited. And it makes me excited because then it makes me realize Oh, she's finally understanding that she's capable of doing so much more. And we have a winner, Francis Beltline! Is that me? That's me! I won! I won! Cruz, Cruz, no! No, 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 what? no, no! This scene is one of my favorites because it's the most honest, it's the sweetest, 
it's just a beautiful moment where Lightning McQueen and Cruz have this moment where she actually gets to tell him how important it is for her to become a racer. It's been her lifelong dream. And she's always felt like she couldn't fit in. Maybe the dream was crazy, maybe it wasn't, but this is the first time that Lightning McQueen actually gets to listen to what Cruz is saying and understands that he had an important impact on her when she was younger. To her, being able to meet him is the dream of a lifetime. Ask me if I dreamed of being a trainer, Mr. McQueen, go ahead. Ask me if I got up in the dark to run laps before school every day. Ask me if I saved every penny to buy a ticket to the races when they came to town. Ask me if I did that so that I could be a trainer someday. Ask me. Did you? No. I've wanted to become a racer forever. Because of you. I love the scene where Lightning and Cruz go to the Thomasville track for the first time. That was Doc Hudson's home track. And to me, I think that the artists at Pixar do such a wonderful job in moments like this, where they can create a world that through color and light, art, they just make you feel like you're in there. They're able to capture that emotion. In that scene specifically, you get to see when Lightning sees the track, and you know how important it is for him to be there, the same place that his mentor used to race in. Wow. If this track could talk. Cruz, what do you say? Let's take a lap. One of my favorite moments is when Lightning and Cruz meet the legendary drivers at Thomasville, because these are the drivers that back in the heyday drove alongside Doc Hudson and really created racing to what we know it as now. Three of the biggest racing legends ever. Junior Midnight Moon, River Scott, Louise, Louise Barnstormer Nash, and she had 38 wins. Well, as I live and breathe, if it ain't Lightning McQueen. Miss Nash, it's a pleasure to meet you. You've had a tough year, haven't you? Oh. Uh, well, Shouldn't you be running practice laps in Florida by now? Yeah, sure. They are here to steal our secrets. Looking for your lost mojo? Wow. You don't mince words around here, do you? <laughs> Truth is always quicker, kid. Another great moment is when Smokey tells Guido to take out Cruz's muffler so that she can sound like, like a real race car. And now they, they do this so that lightning can get into the zone. But what people don't know is that this motivates Cruz in a way that no one expected because now Cruz can get to sound like a real race car, which inspires her to really go after her dream. She wants to race and now she sounds like a racer. You need someone to stand in for, like a sparring partner. I'm not so sure. Not a racer, <laughs> just a trainer. Go ahead and gun it. The scene where Lightning, Cruz, and the racing legends go on the midnight drive, to me, is just amazing. It's, it's beautiful, first of all. This is one of those scenes that, again, makes me appreciate the talent at Pixar so much. They can light a scene to look like it's dark at night, yet we can still see the action. In this midnight drive, none of the cars have their headlights on. They, they really don't know what's out there. They're driving by instinct. What I love about this, though, is that there's these scenes where you actually feel the joy that Lightning McQueen is experiencing as he's driving. And you realize that Lightning is having this, this moment when he realizes basically what he loves about racing. It's something as a reminder of the time back in the day when he started. And I love it because Cruz, you also see, just so in love with the moment, the happiness. And she's feeling it because she's never had that feeling before. So it's cool to see both Cruz and Lightning having the same reaction, but for very different reasons. So now we're at the last training session in Thomasville and we are about to see Lightning and Cruz race. In the last lap, Lightning takes the lead 
only to have it taken back by Cruz. This leads Lightning to wonder, am I really ready for the big race in Florida? This moment right now sets up the climax to everything so beautifully, because now you wonder, wait, can he do it? This is Lightning, he can do anything. Or can he? This might be one of the best moments in the movie. It's the middle of the Florida 500 and Lightning McQueen has gone into the pit. Everybody thinks, oh, he's probably gonna change, you know, tires, blah, blah, blah. No, he actually wants Cruz to take over and finish the race. This is a perfect example of how strong their bond is and how much trust he has that she is actually a real racer that can actually do this. This is the first time that Cruz actually feels like she fits in because her mentor is telling her that she does. You ready, guys? Luigi, Guido, tire, Fillmore, fuel. Okay, I'm here. What's going on? No, not me. Her. <sighs> what? What is she doing back Come here? Come on, guys, get her set up quickly. Okay. Wait, wait, what's happening? Hey, Ramon, you got your paints? You know I do. Wait, guys. What are you doing? Man, I don't understand it. McQueen's just sitting there. Something's gotta be wrong. Mr. McQueen? Today's the day, Cruz. You're getting your shot. What? I started this race, and you're gonna finish it. What? She'll damage the brand. She's just a trainer. No, she's a racer. Just took me a while to see it. Okay, so the part when Cruz does the big flip, you know, the one that Doc Hudson did back in the day, and like flips over Jackson Storm, that is amazing. That is the moment that you finally get to see Cruz be the racer that we all knew she could be. It was that confidence. It was just that power that drives her through the finish line. And to me, when I see that moment, you can't help but cheer because we finally see that she believes in herself because others believe in her too. And that is the most important part of being a racer believing in yourself. You don't belong on this track. Yes, I do! I don't believe it. It's Cruz Ramirez for the win. I am senseless. Thank you for joining me today, you guys. You got to see some of the highlights of the movie. It tells an awesome story. Obviously, I'm a huge Cruz Ramirez fan, and I hope you are too. I hope we get to hang out again soon. Bye. Hi, everybody. It's Jennifer Lewis. I play Fabulous Flo from Disney Pixar Cars. Now this year is a very special year because it's the 15th anniversary of the first Cars film. So to celebrate, I'm gonna take you down memory lane and share some of my all-time favorites. So let's get to it. Fabulous. I've never seen Doc drive more than 20 miles an hour. I mean, have you ever seen him race? You know, the moment I love so much is when Lightning McQueen is about to enter the track to compete for the Piston Cup. And the crowd is yelling. He's saying, I'm faster than fast, and I eat losers for breakfast. <laughs> and then when the camera pans over all the angles of his car, Oh, the red and the sleekness of it. And he's so arrogant about the whole thing. But you know what they say, pride goeth before a fall. Another one of my favorite moments is when we're in the autodrome and everything's going on. The signs are waving, the blimp is overhead, the jumbotron is there, souvenir barkers, 
So all of this is going on, right? But there's one brief shot of the restroom area. <laughs> and for the men's room, it's real short. The line is real short. But for the women, it's around the corner. <laughs> so true. That really tickled me. When me and my friends get together, we try to top each other, joking around. Who got the biggest laugh? So whoever gets the biggest laugh, we call it a score. So in cars, at the Piston Cup press conference, Lightning McQueen calls Chick Thunder. In your dreams, Thunder. <laughs> yeah, right. Thunder, what's he talking about thunder? And Chick is like, thunder? Why are you calling me thunder? And Lightning says, because thunder comes after lightning. You know, because thunder always comes after lightning. Kapow! Who here knew the, about the thunder thing? Now that, that's a score. Another scene I love is when the king attempts to advise lightning after the piston cup. You know, he actually delivers the moral of the movie when he tells him, you ain't gonna win unless you've got good folks around you. Hey, buddy, you're a one gutsy racer. Oh, hey, Mr. The King. You got more talent in one lug nut than a lot of cars has got in their whole body. Really? Oh, that, But you're uh, stupid. Excuse me? Well, Lightning could care less. He's like, talk to the hand. And then he goes off into this fantasy about winning the Dynaco sponsorship. Well, I gotta tell you, I have mentored a lot of young people who were arrogant and so sure that they could do it, but they didn't listen to advice. When you listen, you learn, and when you learn, you just do a better job, and you're nicer to people. If you figure that out, you're just gonna be okay. Okay, so we know Lightning wants to dump his rusty sponsorship so he can represent Dynaco. Come on, let's go, Max. Saddle up. What'd you do with my trailer? I parked it over your sponsor's tent. What? You gotta make your personal appearance. No. No! No, 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 no! But after the three-way tie and he didn't win, poor Lightning McQueen. The last thing he wants to do is go to the Rusty's event and meet his Rusty fans. <laughs> Ugh, I hate rusty cars. This is not good for my image. And remember, with a little rusties and an insane amount of luck, you two can look like me. ka chow Hey, kid. Oh, we love you. And we're looking forward to another great year, just like this year. <laughs> not on your life. OK, now this scene is where I got a really deep wonderful feeling because when Mac comes over the mountain crest and lightning is heading to Los Angeles, wow, let me tell you when they reveal that beautiful landscape, it just makes me feel so good that here is the American terrain and how beautiful it is. Look at this. Wow. Is that what I think it is? Another one of my favorite Flo mints. This scene is where you get to know a little bit more about Flo. So the residents of Radiator Springs are trying to entice the lost tourists to stay a while. So here goes Flo. <laughs> she wants them to come over to Flo's V8 Cafe. And she says, How about something to drink? Stop it, Flo's V8 Cafe. Finest fuel on Route 66. <laughs> I love her personality. And I gotta tell you, I loved playing Flo. Hey, look at this here fancy new road that Lightning McQueen done just made. This is the scene where Flo and Ramon take a nice ride down the freshly paved road, and they are so in love. So Ramon says, come on, Flo. We gonna take it low and slow, cause I got a low rider. <laughs> Ooh, Ramon, mama ain't seen you that low in years. 
I haven't seen a road like this in years. Well, then let's cruise, baby. Low and slow. Oh, that night when all the neon lights come on and you just see all the cars going up and down and the lights reflecting on all the painted cars. It is so cool. That's one of my favorite moments because it's so colorful. Hello. I don't think I... I didn't come all this way to see you quit. Doc? <laughs> Guys, you're here. I can't believe this. When Lightning is racing the tiebreaker without a pit crew, Flo and the entire Radiator Springs community show up and help him out because they love him. Isn't it great when friends help friends out? All right, if you can drive as good as you can fix a road, then you can win this race with your eyes shut. Now get back out there. What better way to celebrate 15 years of Disney Pixar's Cars than remembering my favorite moments with you. It's been an absolute joy. Until next time, okay? <laughs> Bye.